Good evening, faculty on good evening, faculty, honored guests, family, friends, fellow graduates, and my mother Amal, my father Hayden, and my brother Muhammad. The class you all see here before you is one that will look down in history. The graduates you see sitting on the stage are among the most athletic, intelligent, talented, and artistic Wonton High School will ever have. We broke multiple Wonton High School athletic records, winning first place in academic competitions, art competitions, band awards, college acceptances, nationals for academic decathlon, and it's just the beginning. I have the privilege of growing up side by side with 90% of the people on this stage and I've developed bonds and friendships with most of you, not just as president, but as friends, to see you all mature to who you are today. I'd first like to acknowledge a couple of significant figures in my life that changed my life and other people's lives on this stage. Mr. Alessio, when I was going into your high school, you probably expected the worst kid to enter your class from my reputation in elementary school. However, you didn't let that stop you from helping me and always believing in me. So this day, you helped me with my presidency, SAT practice, and being the best math teacher that has ever taught me. You helped me turn into a better man in and outside the classroom. Mr. Horgan, you recognized when I had a bad day and made it better. You made me a smarter man mentally and made me still realize I had potential as myself and no other person. Ms. Fusa, Ms. Schwarzer, I went to your office every day asking questions about college and my grades and class with doubling on science or math, and you believed in me and advocated me for to do good, and I wouldn't be here without your help. And most importantly, Mr. Siciliano, the man who always let me ask a million questions in class, supported me in every club, academics, and gave me advice and listened to me when I was unheard. It was like having a best friend as a teacher. I can proudly say with you at Wonton High School that the students will always be taken care of. And a huge thank you to my mother and father. You guys sacrificed so much time sending me the ambulance calls every day in soccer practice. And you sent me money through Apple Pay that I use for everything. But I think it comes from Apple itself. Thank you for always believing me in whether or not I got accepted to the best school or if I didn't win an award at all. You guys always saw potential with me and showed me my work every day in my life. Now it's my time to repay you to show you all that hard work will not be in notice, will not be in notice, and hopefully become half the people that you are. You are my, and thank you to my brother as well. You are my role model for everything, and I can happily say that everything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> also, shout out the best friend group anyone can have, the cozy goblins that are on that stage. I spend my, most of my days having so much fun and laughing with you guys. You guys are my second family. Now my classmates. I grew up with most of you for the past 13 years of my life. No matter who says we're going to college next year, I'll never believe we're that old. I still think we're the only we're those spooky little kids running under the playground parachute in fourth grade. Once the ceremony comes to an end, we know this chapter of our high school has officially ended. Once we start our walk and receive our diploma, this chapter has finished. That seven digit student ID number that we have used the past 13 years will never be used again, but it will still hang around in our memory. Not only that, but every memory of me within the last 13 years will hinder in the back of our minds. I wouldn't have wanted to spend these last 13 years at any other school, and I was so happy to be you all's president. I know we all will continue to dominate outside of school as much as we dominated being the best class at home in high school. Thank you so much, Ms. Ruth, for being our class advisor for the past six years and spending so much time, money, and effort to make our senior year the best it could possibly be. Finally, I have one piece of advice to leave you guys with. We saw how COVID cut our high school memories short with missed out memories and online school. This pandemic showed us that we have to live every day like it's our last. Find out a moment and focus on what truly matters. Capture what is worth remembering. And with that being said, I want to capture this moment. <laughs> Thank you, and I'm honored to say congratulations to the class of 2022.
Thank you, Omar. I sincerely think that the last 13 years we have spent together have now come to an end. Unlike most schools, we don't just look back on the last four years, but rather our entire lives starting from kindergarten. We have generally watched and helped each other grow up, which is what makes today so bittersweet. It means our lives are about to change completely, and for the first time since we all first met, many of us will never see each other again as we continue our path in different directions. Regardless, today is an accomplishment for us all, and yet none of this would be possible without those that helped us become who we are today. So first, I would like to thank all the staff and teachers who have made us all feel comfortable and feel at home over the years. If it weren't for all your encouragement and support, none of us would be here today. I don't think there's a single teacher that I've had throughout my years of Wellington in high school that haven't impacted me in some way, and it is not far-fetched to say the same for others. To the Board of Education, I'd like to thank you for making the decision necessary that we want to high school the way it is today. As for my family, if it weren't for you, I would have never been able to stand here today and give this speech. My number one motivation has always been to make you proud. I know going to college out of state is not what you expected, but I know no matter how far from home I am, I will always have your support and I will continue to make you proud. Thank you for all you have done and given up for me. Kahamat Banza is actually been the best My closest friends, no matter how far apart we are, we will always have our dreams and nightmares. I never expected to meet people as incredible as you so early on in life. There was not a day that you were not there for me, and I know we will continue to support each other in college. Thank you for pushing me, for helping me, and giving me memories I will carry on for the rest of my life. Finally, the class of 2022. From all the memories we've made together, we have definitely become more united as a class, especially over these past few weeks. Hopefully, each and every one of us has special moments that we will want to remember and reminisce about for years to come. As a class, we are always able to work together when we need to, which is what made us stronger and more united. So united that we even had the opportunity to be part of a wedding earlier this year, won Battle of the Grace for the second year in a row, and spent not one, but two wonderful trips together. We appear to always stick together as a class. The time we have took away from us never stood in the way of us becoming close and making as many memories as we could with the time we had left. I hope you know every single one of you is so special and unique, which is what makes me so grateful to be able to say this speech in front of you all. I am proud of all of us for this huge milestone we reached today. Even though, as of today, we will no longer work together, we should take with us the lessons we have learned from each other and remember those that shape us into who we are. So let's enjoy these last moments we have together. Congratulations to the class of 2022. I'd also like to 
welcome uh, representatives of the town council. First, Mr. Calhoun and Rodas. <laughs> Mr. Eugene Rajelski. <laughs> this is Suzanne Pinehall. <laughs> this is Yada Balik. And we're also joined by our Chief of Police, Mr. Carmelo and Rubu. As much as tonight is a celebration of what our students have achieved, it's also a celebration of what our parents and families have accomplished. I know from my own experience that parenting is the most difficult job that anyone can have, but it's also the most rewarding. On behalf of our entire faculty and staff, please accept our sincerest thanks for all that you have done to support your sons and daughters. You deserve a round of applause. I would also like to express my profound gratitude to the entire faculty and staff of Wallington Junior Senior High School. The educational professionals who work in our school have met the challenges of the past few years head on to make this school the best it can be. It has not been easy, and it's clear to me that their work has been motivated first and foremost by their genuine affection and concern for all our students, but particularly our seniors. Can we give our teachers and staff a round of applause?
Academic Club for the first place Imagination Award, the Academic Decathlon won the place six in the National Small School Division. The marching band received a bronze medal at the Natal Parade Nation. Boys soccer, softball, and a hole, all earned league titles, with bowling bringing home the sectional title. Your class is also the largest number of college university acceptances in the past five years, with 78 different schools accepting our students. With all of that said, you do not need to win an award or a medal to prove you have something special within you. You are each class with special talents worthy of being congratulated. I know firsthand, as I've always been, on behalf of the faculty of Wallington High School. I hereby present the graduating class of 2022. I certify they have successfully completed the prescribed curriculum and are eligible to receive their high school diploma. Please hold your applause until I get through each row. Abigail Alessandra Curioso. Angela Emilia Cordilla. Olivia Dable. Leonardo Reyes. Inez Carrillo. Jacob Jandura. Jody Rodriguez. Alexander Herrera. Adam Joshua Malaborski. Isaiah Delgado. Colin Casanelli. Adrian Gizbowski. Brian Arenas, Ryan Thomas Kane, Daniel Neil Ennis, Marius Lajawa, Alexis Amira Sepchik, Yuritsa Janae Casado, Salome Pabon Molina. Annalise Nicole O'Keefe. Anna Gabriella Howitt. Layla Sazinger. Ava Victoria Travis. Aileen Isabel Ruiz. Agnieszka Janusz. Alexandra Guerrero. <laughs> Kayla Rosemary Jones. <laughs> Marina Rossini. <laughs> Marta Shishutko. <laughs> Paula Wasik. Omar Haitham Algadaki.
we give our first row a round of applause.
Julia Maria Olshavi. Julia Boytanovich. Mrs. Castine will now be presenting the diploma to her daughter, Haley Elizabeth Castine. Mr. David Bacco, former Board of Education member, will be presenting the next diploma to his daughter, Haley Marie Bacco. Julia Bialik. Olivia Agnieszka Pazella. Can we have a round of applause for our third? Dominic Andrew Chin. David Nadine Higgins. Juan Pablo Alzate. Patrick Lasota. Jacob Novak. Jonathan DePasquale. Eric Coney. Daniel Kurak. Kevin Miazga. Joshua Jan Ozapalski. Gabriel Juba. Caleb David Cabrera. Sean Petlinos. Kevin Puchala. <laughs> Axel Jeremy Oriole. <laughs> Abigail Rose Tabaka. <laughs> Patricia Grochowska. <laughs> Victoria Tagara. <laughs> Milani Triana. Olivia Burnett. <laughs> Chenga Balo. <laughs> Amy Nicole Craig. <laughs> Tsunami Del Carmen Martinez. Yes, Can we have a round of applause for our <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2022 graduating class of Washington.
Our next speaker is our valedictorian, Marta Shishutko. Reached the national, 
our marching bands competed at an international level. Our sport team became team champions and proceeded to state levels, and school records were broken. That is just a fraction of what our great class accomplished. Yet, we still have more in us to show to the world. As we go our separate ways, I want all of us to push ourselves to reach our full potential. Let's not give way to fear, anxiety, or doubt. Rather, let bravery, confidence, and optimism for the future fill our minds. Although this is bittersweet, think about what the future holds for us all. Congratulations to the class of 2022. We made it. Zoom, you do Google Meets, 
and all kinds of other platforms as well, and that's transformed our world and our workplaces. And you are all experts leaving high school in doing that. You've learned a different respect and appreciation for coming to school each and every day because you had days when you could not come to school. You've learned the importance of being healthy and you've learned the responsibility that comes with being healthy and helping others to stay healthy too. You've learned the sweet and simple joy of seeing your teacher or your friends smile every day because you went months without being able to see anyone smile. You know what a simple smile can make you feel well, and you know how differently you felt when you couldn't see them. You've learned, above all, to be creative and to think outside the normal box in order to achieve what you want, regardless of the many roadblocks that were thrown your way. So I'm sure that there will be work to be done in the future, but that's okay, because we've learned so much more as well. And I know that you are fully prepared. So let's end this evening by focusing less on what we have not learned and more on what we have learned. You have a whole lot of this waiting for you, and you're prepared whether you know that or not. We know we cannot predict the future with any certainty, so please don't get lost in trying to map out your perfect future. Enjoy your moments, learn from your mistakes, and move on from them. Value the relationships and the skills you will acquire in the years ahead and the years beyond Washington High School. And simply be prepared. And you will live the, man, the life that you are all meant to live. In a few moments, we'll officially close the longest chapter of your formal education. Henry David Thoreau once wrote that success comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. So my advice to you is to simply begin your work and your success will find you. It can be measured in money, it can be measured in possessions, but it can also be measured in kindness, in philanthropy, and in being a good parent, a good spouse, or in charity. And finally, our Wallace Public Schools in this community are like none that you may never, may ever know again. You will always be an important part of us, and we will always be an important part of you. I extend to you the class of 2022, my admiration, as well as my profound thanks. I speak for all of us here present tonight when I say we hope and pray for all the best for each and every one of you as you move on in life. Thank you for all that you have given to us, and God bless you. Please stand for the alma mater and then to remain standing for our students.